So I'm gonna give you, give me a talk on renal scintigraphy. Uh, again, another <laughs> challenging topic. I remember uh, I was one of those old school uh, internal medicine, nuclear medicine folks first, and uh, always w urologists, internists, we all kind of found this to be a real black box. So hopefully uh, you'll understand this much better after this talk and be able to hopefully explain it to the referring physicians. Um, in way of disclosure real quick, sorry, uh, all, all the disclosures are the same no matter which talk, but uh, I have financial relationships uh, with uh, Invicro, Konica Minolta, Amgen, Bayer, Blue Earth Diagnostics, Chimerics, Asi, Fusion Pharma, GE Healthcare, General Electric Healthcare, Novartis, and Euro Today. So these are the three main radiopharmaceuticals that are used in renal scintigraphy. And unlike in nuclear cardiology, where the two of them were primarily interchangeable, these do quite different things. So technetium DTPA is glomerular filtration. Um, and so it's primarily used for estimating GFR. Um, tech DTPA, if you're wondering how it looks, I mean, if you just swap out the technetium for gadolinium, you have Magnavist, right? So it's the same chelating molecule. There's nothing really special about it. It's just a, it's a chelator. It keeps that metal soluble. And so it, it gets uh, filtered by your kidneys. It doesn't have any specificity like many of our other nuclear tracers. Mm -hmm. Then we have technetium 99M MAG3. And that is primarily an active renal tubular secretion agent. Uh, and again, unless you're estimating GFR, you almost always want to use MAG3. That's a question that comes up. Oh, which agent do we use? Generally, it's almost always MAG3. We'll get you a higher quality image. And then an entirely separate category is Technetium 99 DMSA, which is a cortical bind binding agent. And last time I checked, it's still not readily available. So unless you're um, sort of having it created custom, you're not gonna be able to find that unfortunately, but we'll show a case of it just in case it becomes more readily available again. So first case, a uh, patient with history of rectal cancer, status post chemo rads and uh, LAR, and now they have bilateral hydronephrosis. You can see on this uh, coronal MR, okay? So as you can imagine, the surgeon wants to know, is it truly obstructed? So there's three phases, general phases that you address, okay, on every single renal scintigraphy study. Flow, uptake, and clearance, all right? And remember, this is posterior planar imaging, and in nukes, we don't flip the patient, okay, the images. So the right side's on the right side, the left side's on the left side. We don't flip it, okay? So that sometimes gets confusing to people because I'll be the first one to raise my hand and admit that I've had to correct a report because I got the sides <laughs> confused right and left, okay? So this is the flow phase. This is an angiographic image. It's really just imagine you're in fluoro and you injected ionated contrast. Nuclear medicine angiographic phase flow images are the same as any other, okay? So you inject it, it comes down uh, into the SVC, you can actually see kind of the inferior border of the heart here, you know, and then it gets pumped in. Then you see it go into the lungs and pulmonary circulation. And then see here, okay, the main bolus is now below the diaphragm. You see it coming down the abdominal aorta, okay? Now this, pull, this bolus is past the level of the renal arteries and the abdominal aorta. And on that image or the next one in the next couple of seconds, you should see the kidneys. Imagine again, if you're in an angio suite and you injected, you know, you're doing an aortogram runoff and then you see the bolus come down the abdominal aorta and as it goes past there, you better see perfusion into the kidneys, right? If everything is normal. And that's what you see here, right? You have the right kidney here and you can see the left kidney. But what you wanna comment on the flow phase, is it prompt, which means within a couple seconds after you see that bolus, go down the abdominal aorta, past level of the renal arteries, you should see the kidneys. If it's not prompt, there could be some renal dysfunction or even a renal artery stenosis. And then the other thing, is it symmetric? Okay, as you can see here, it's prompt. You see it uh, after the bolus, promptly after the bolus goes past level of the renal arteries, but it is not symmetric, okay? And so that first minute of imaging is what we consider the flow phase.